Do you know why type 2 is also known as context-free grammar? Let's see. First of all, type 2 or context-free grammar is the subset of type 1 or context-sensitive grammar, which happens to be the subset of unrestricted or type 0 grammars. Now, in case of type 0 grammars, we already know the production rules are of the form V star and V star that can be rewritten as V star. We are having at least one non-terminal on the left-hand side so that the production rule can produce something. In case of type 1, we already know this. The production rules are of the form alpha A beta can be rewritten as alpha gamma beta. So this alpha is coming from this V star. A being the non-terminal is coming from this N and beta in here is coming from this V star. On the other hand, the entire right hand side is V star. So we can say A belongs to N, that is the set of non-terminals, and alpha, beta, gamma belongs to V star, any string over N union T. We also know in case of type 1, the number of elements in the left hand side should be always less than or equal to the number of elements of the right hand side. And most importantly, A can only produce gamma in association with the left context alpha and the right context beta. And that's why type 1 is context sensitive. In case of type 2, these contexts of the left hand side are gone. The entire left hand side is free, the only non terminal will be there and it will be able to produce alpha. Since A is the non terminal, so we can say A belongs to N. Now, what is alpha? Alpha can produce anything. It can be the empty string. It can be any string over N union T. So we can also say this, alpha will belong to V star. Since in the production rules, the left hand side is free of any context, that's why the type 2 grammar is also known as context-free grammar. Want to learn more? Check out compiler design.